Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George from Movie Misfit and today I get to check out Steve Wang's incredible Drive, released on Blu-ray from Idiot Films. I am so friggin excited that this movie has finally gotten some sort of restoration and amazing high definition release because Drive from Steve Wang with Mark Dacascos is one of my all time favorites. This movie, oh, it's just fucking awesome. Okay, to start with, I first saw this whenever uh, it had just come out. I was living in Toronto and I got it um, in the video store. I got it out for rent uh, and I loved it, but I couldn't own it at that stage. When I got home, however, Columbia TriStar had released it here in the UK on VHS and I managed to pick up this X rental for about three pounds, which was a friggin bargain. And this was watched religiously. I had so much fun with it. Um, and this uh, probably, honestly, at minimum of twice a week for uh, for a lot of months. I just thought it was friggin' amazing. And then, of course, when the DVD market hit, um, Hong Kong Legends, uh, along with Medusa uh, Pictures, released Drive here on DVD. One of my first uh, DVDs, this along with Jet Li's Hitman from Hong Kong Legends and I think Snake and Eagle's Shadow with Jackie Chan. Those were like the first three blue uh, DVDs, sorry, that I ever owned. I didn't even have a DVD player at that stage. These, these had just come out and I thought I cannot miss the chance to own these. And because they came with a host of extras, director's commentary, uh, a new cut of the movie. So I, what I was seeing here on the video that ran for 95 minutes was suddenly now like a hundred and... Uh, what is 112 minutes, so it was such a big difference already. Um, you had interviews, photo galleries, um, a documentary, deleted scenes, and so on. So this then became um, a very much a vital part of my weekly viewing pleasure, which was wonderful. Um, then, of course, once Idiot had announced that they were releasing it on Blu-ray, look at this gorgeous, gorgeous artwork, um, I jumped at the chance to um, not only pre-order it, but uh, wanted to be a part of it. And I was asked to do um, some interview pieces for it. Again, much like Tiger Cage, I don't know if they made the cut. Reading the back of it with the extras there, it doesn't look like it made the cut. So I might have to just put that out there on the channel. Um, but I mean, I am so happy that it looks as amazing as it does. Of course, you it doing another amazing job. Uh, they did, however, um, release both the Blu-ray edition and a 4K Ultra HD version. Um, why they didn't do it as a double pack is beyond me, but I had already clicked on the um, buy button before I realized that the uh, 4K uh, UHD one was just below it. Uh, so I thought it was only this one that was on the site. Anyway, regardless, don't care. Uh, the fact that it is here in high definition restored in 4K is more than enough for me. Uh, so yes, here we have, again, the artwork, beautiful. I'm gonna read out what's included. High definition presentation of the extended director's cut at 118 minutes. So again, that's six minutes longer than what the DVD is offering. Again, I don't think that that's a technical issue. Six minutes is quite a lengthy time to notice running speeds between things. Um, who knows? Maybe it is. Uh, 118 minutes um, in 2.35.1 aspect ratio from a brand new 4K scan of the original camera negative. Um, the original cut with alternate musical score at 100 minutes. Okay. Optional um, English SDH available on both cuts. Uh, -bum -bum. Audio commentary by director Steve Wang. Fight choreography or fight choreographer, sorry, uh, Koichi Sakamoto, stars Mark Dacascos and Kadeem Hardison. Uh, Hardison. I don't know if that's the same audio commentary that is on the Hong Kong Legends DVD. It quite possibly is, and I'm thinking there's a lot on here that is taken from that, um, such as Drive, The Force Behind the Storm documentary, which is what's included on the DVD there, uh, Highway to Nowhere, Jason Tobin and Drive, another hmm, another featurette of sorts. Uh, six deleted scenes, which again, I believe are on the DVD. 
an interview gallery with cast, director and crew, including stars Mark Dacascos, Kadeem Hardison, I keep getting this wrong, Hardison, um, director Steve Wang and second unit director Wyatt Weed, uh, along with stunt coordinator Koichi Sakamoto, an original trailer and reversible sleeve with new artwork by Sam Gilby, which is just beautiful. Well done, Sam. Um, the reason I got excited about Wyatt Weed is because he's an old friend. I met him uh, when I took my first movie to a film festival in Florida. A uh, super nice guy, realized then that he had worked with Steve on uh, Drive and the Guy Room movies and so on. And I was really, really excited. Um, and it was just wonderful to be able to kind of like talk about those knockheads with him. Uh, later on, when I started my own uh, DVD distribution label, I actually picked up Wyatt's very own um, feature, uh, directorial feature, which I loved, called Shadowland, a wonderful vampire uh, movie from the US, an independent vampire movie, but absolutely beautiful and a big award winner. So I put this out on my label, uh, Yellow Fever Distribution, way back, oh gosh, I can't even think, 10 years ago perhaps. And um, we've, we we kind of had stayed friends since that. I haven't seen him in a long time, spoke to him a long time, but it's going to be great to see him pop up here and in high definition, of course. Uh, so yes, a very healthy pack, very excited to see it. And of course, um, if you've been watching the channel, uh, I haven't lately uh, been able to do any of my Untold Stories interview um, features. Uh, the next one that I had in line and I worked with Steve Wang on um, setting a date to get him interviewed for that. Uh, of course life gets in the way as it most often does but I will try and rush uh, to get that sorted out, get back on track and hopefully interview Steve um, very very soon and I'm glad now that I've got the chance to have this in my collection so I can watch it and go through it uh, and, and get that excitement back for Drive uh, in being able to talk to him about that. So inside let's have a quick peek inside we have this I'll just slide that out in nice slow motion here. Blah. I actually don't even know what's there. Oh okay so a couple of choices of artwork there which is just wonderful. Uh, I like Sam's style, it's very comic booky. Uh, it would be wonderful to continue uh, the adventures of uh, Mark um, in a comic book form. I don't see why not. I think it would work a damn treat considering that it's been so long. 1997, oh my gosh. Woo! God, that's uh, 25 years ago. Holy shit. Okay, so... <laughs> wow. Oh boy. It's crazy how much time flies. Inside here we have got um, what looks like a poster and of course the uh, beautifully designed disc. And there's also a reversible cover, which um, I'll start with the, the nice colorful one here, which you can see. Uh, and on the other side, the more 90s style uh, front, which looks pretty much like the VHS. How exciting but I, I think yeah definitely regardless with the uh, the slip cover there I think um, Sam's piece inside definitely wins this is the kind of artwork this movie deserved to have from the beginning from the start um, and I think had it been promoted more so like this than it was uh, I definitely think it would have been a much bigger hit quicker of course it's become more of a cult classic than anything um, especially among Hong Kong um, action movie fans and fight fans um, and it did you know it it did some amazing oh my god some amazing stuff uh, in here look at this this is just sweet and again A3 size uh, there is a video going up on the channel or if you're watching this it may be up already um, of where to get your frames that fit these um, A3 posters from 88 Films perfectly and also another option of what to do with them if you don't have the wall space, which I'm very quickly running out of. This is a, excuse me, I just had a McDonald's. This is a one-sided poster, <laughs> which I'm glad for because then I don't have to fight over the choice, but that looks beautiful and I really cannot wait to get it framed up. So that's that's all that comes with that. Um, all that leaves me to do is take this 
to my television, uh, check it out, put it up against the DVD. Of course, I always like to watch the DVD version for about 10 minutes just to let that quality, DVD quality, sink in before I put the Blu-rays on to um, make it even more impressive and pop out. But I also want to uh, match up the special features. I'm nearly sure pretty much everything on here is on here, um, but I just want to confirm that. So yes, I'm going to go check this out and I'll be back soon and let you know what I think. So just back after checking out the wonderful Drive release on Blu-ray from Idiot Films, uh, of course directed by Steve Wang and starring the gorgeous Mark Dacascos in what is quite possibly his greatest role ever. Um, I'm only sorry that there wasn't ever any sequels made for this movie because, you know, it's obviously a bit late to carry on the adventures of uh, Toby. Um, but yes, uh, <laughs> definitely his best role, I have to say. The fight action throughout it and what he pulls off, it's just amazing. It's just incredible and I don't think I've ever seen Mark look or move as good as he does in this movie. Um, as for the setup itself, um, both the director's cut and the original cut um, that are on here look amazing. They look fantastic and I'm sure they look even better on the 4K Ultra HD release. Um, the director's cut running for just under two hours which is fantastic and then of course the original cut which is the VHS version that I have was nice to see in high definition. Um, as for the rest of it I'm afraid that for me Idiot Films have done a eureka here in just transferring everything from the, uh, the Medusa Pictures or Hong Kong Legends release onto uh, Blu-ray. Um, the, the extra feature um, with uh, Jason Tobin, Highway to Nowhere with Jason Tobin, who uh, even himself is like, <laughs> I'm literally in this for seconds, I was just an extra. Um, but he also stars in the, in the television show Warrior, uh, as well as some, a couple of the Fast and Furious movies. Um, it, it runs for about 20 minutes. It was interesting to listen to him, but there wasn't a lot to to talk about with Drive, um, as, as he sort of admittedly says himself. Um, so a bit of an odd piece to put on here. I don't I don't even know why they would have went down that road uh, and put put that together to, to put on here. It doesn't even make sense. Um, so for that to be the only other new feature, um, but to have two cuts of the movie on the Blu-ray, I suppose, is, is great. But there's nothing, to be honest, it could have been much better. I would have liked to have seen new interviews with Mark Dacascos or, or Kadeem or even Steve Wang. It would have been great to see something new um, as well, just in, instead of just transferring all the old stuff that we've seen. Um, even the interviews with all the cast and crew and Wyatt Weed. I mean, I got excited when I saw Wyatt's name on this, but it turns out he is on the DVD. Of course, it, that didn't stand out to me when I first got that because I hadn't started making my movies. I hadn't met Wyatt then, so I had sort of watched that interview when I first bought the uh, the original DVD, maybe late 90s, early 2000s, um, and it would be another, maybe another 10 years or so or less before I would meet Wyatt, so it never stood out to me. Um, but turns out everything on there is on here. Um, you know, even one thing I was happy for, I have to admit, although I would have liked a new one also was the audio commentary with um steve koichi uh mark and kadeem it is one of the funniest audio commentaries i have ever listened to and i remembered listening to it on the dvd and and pissing myself at it because it was just brilliant um so i did watch it again um on here and i had as much fun the second time around listening to them um but yeah I, do you know it could have been better it could have been better it, the picture quality is amazing. It's great to have the two cuts there, as I say. Um, but that new extra feature with Jason Tobin, no harm to him, uh, just pointless. Um, and it was a shame to see everything else just transferred and still in, in video quality and, and most of it in 4.3. Four, four, um, but apart from that, yes, thumbs up. Um, if you don't have Drive in your collection, this is definitely well worth picking up as it is because it's a gorgeous... Um, 
gorgeously designed slip. It's well put together and as I say the picture quality is amazing. But yeah, I kind of expected more um, and I'm not on it. I'm not that I'm being biased about that. <laughs> that wasn't the whole thing. But yes, um, there, there, there wasn't um, my interview or any new interviews, as I said, from anyone included on there. So I'll try and get that out there on the channel soon. But yes, Drive, uh, coming soon or right now. I can't remember the release date, but uh, for Media Films. So there we have it folks, if you haven't already please head on over to InvincibleAsia.com where you can check out as many full movie reviews on these movies from my collection that I can possibly write about. Follow me on Instagram at InvincibleAsia and at MovieMisfit where I post bullet reviews and other things that I simply cannot put to video. And don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell here on the YouTube channel as well as checking out all my other content. Thank you so much for your support and until next time enjoy your Kung Fu and I will see you soon.